Chapter 4 is simple equations. Now what is an equation? An equation is a condition on a variable. Now let's see some example of equations. Now we have 2x plus 3. At the moment it's not an equation because there's no equality sign. If I say it is equal to 6, then this can be written as an equation. This is an equation because there is a left side. So this is the LHS and this is the RHS and both LHS and RHS are separated by an equality sign. So when there is an equality sign between two expressions, one on the left and one on the right, then we say that it is an equation. Now equations can be solved by either trial and error method or there is another method by which we can solve the variable which is by collecting the common terms that is the variable on one side and shifting the constant on the other. So let's try out both the examples. The first method that we are going to do is the trial and error method. In the trial and error method you have to substitute different values where we will substitute the LHS and RHS and see whether it is coming equal or not. Let us say for example we have 2x plus 1 is equal to 10. Now what are the values of x that we can put such that it is going to come equal to 10. Now you have to start with let us say x is 1. Now if x is 1 then what happens 2 into 2, 2 into 1 is 2 plus 1 will become 3. So 3 and 10 are obviously not equal. Substitute x as 3, 2 into 3 is 6, 6 plus 1 is 7. Substitute x as 4, we get 2 4s are 8, 8 plus 1 is 9. Substitute x as 5, we get x is 5 into 2, so 5 to the 10, 10 plus 1 is 11. So it is coming more than this. That means when I am substituting x is 4, I am getting a value which is 9 which is less than this. And when I am substituting x is 5, I am getting a value more than this. So that means it has to be between 4 and 5. So let us take half of that, that is 4.5. So if I am taking x is 4.5, what happens? This will become 2 into 4.5 plus 1. So 2 into 4.5 we know is 9. 9 plus 1 will give us 10. So we get 10 equal to 10. So we can say that the value of x is 4.5. We can have another example by which we can verify this. Let us say we are given a sum 3x plus 1 is equal to 7. Again we are trying to solve this by the trial and error method. So we have to substitute x is 1 here. So what happens if x is 1 this will become 3 into 1 plus 1 is equal to 7. 3 into 1 is 3. 3 plus 1 will give you 4 and we know that 4 and 7 are not equal. So that means x is 1 is not a solution for this. So we are going to take the next value of x. So we will take x as 2. So when we take x as 2 we get 3 into 2 plus 1 is 7. Applying bot mass first we will multiply this will become 6 plus 1 is 7. So we get 7 equal to 7. So we get LHS equal to RHS when we are substituting the value of x as 2. Now when we are substituting x as 2, we are getting LHS equal to RHS that means the solution for this equation is x is 2. Now this method by which we can find out the value of the variable is called the trial and error method. Let us try out one more example with the trial and error method. Let us have 5x plus 1 is equal to 16. Now here we have LHS 5x plus 1 and it has to come equal to 16. Starting with x is 1, we get 5 into 1 plus 1. This is going to give you 5 plus 1, that is 6. It is not equal to 16, so this is not a solution. You take x is 2, we get 5 into 2 plus 1. 5 into 2 is 10, 10 plus 1 is 11. Again not equal to the RHS. Take x is 3, we get 5 into 3 plus 1. 5 into 3 is 15 and 15 plus 1 is giving us 16. So we get 16 here, 
and we are having 16 on the RHS. Therefore, we can say that the solution for this will be x is equal to 3. 